You know what drives me crazy, crazy as a career coach? People not saying their full names during introductions. I see it happen all the time and it's terrible. The obvious reason is because your identity is an important piece of information for context in any business situation. But there's a less obvious reason that matters just as much. Not stating your full name at the beginning of a business encounter essentially announces, I don't matter, or I lack confidence, or both. That's not just first impression poison, it can be a career killer. Because who wants to listen to a person who doesn't believe in themselves? And yet this phenomenon is an epidemic, one that I've been watching for about 10 years after the inimitable Susie Orman caught me in the act. She just watched me give a speech, and she literally grabbed me coming off the stage. You didn't say your name, she scolded me. But I was introduced, I protested. It doesn't matter, she replied. Even when you think people know who you are, say your name both first and last. Own your name, and you own the room. Susie was right, as she usually is. I promise you that stating my name, even when meeting someone for a second or a third time, set a whole new tone. Sorry to be a little hyped up about this, but I just returned from a day of coaching MBA students. During a Q&A session, I watched person after person take the mic and say, hi, um, my question is blah, blah. And every time I was thinking, who is going to hire you if you can't even introduce yourself properly? So please, take this advice about your name. I promise you, you'll see an impact on everyone in the room right away and eventually on your career. This is CNBC Make It, and I'm Susie Welch.